Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a look at two wireless adapters from ASUS, as well as showing you how they performed with the benchmarks. The first one is the ASUS PCE AC68 PCI Express wireless adapter, and we also have the ASUS USB AC56. USB 3.0 wireless adapter. So these are definitely two different classes of products. You got your USB adapter and your PCI Express adapter. The USB adapter has two streams for up to 867 megabits per second and the PCI Express adapter has three streams for up to 1.3 gigabits per second. Of course this is on the AC wireless 5 gigahertz band. So let's take a closer look at the products themselves and I'll tell you about the features and then I will show you the benchmarks and the accessories. So here we have a closer look at the two wireless adapters from ASUS. They are both 802.11 AC wireless adapters though they definitely fall into two different classes. So first, let's take a look at the USB 3.0 adapter, which is this one here. So one thing you're going to notice first is that we've got the typical diamond finish on it that ASUS usually puts on their networking devices. You've got caps on both ends. So if we pull those off, what we expose is the USB 3.0 connector, as well as a connection for an external antenna, which they do include. On the back of it, we have all of our information about the um, wireless adapter, dual band wireless USB adapter, model USB AC56, made by ASUS Tech Computer Incorporated, and it also has the FCC information on it. On one side of it, we do have a WPS button because we do it does support WPS connections. They also include a USB 3.0 cradle as one of the accessories with it so you can stand the wireless adapter up into the USB cradle and um, place it in much better place on top of your desk if you're using this with a desktop computer or something like that for the external wireless con adapter connection um, you can just screw on the wireless adapter here and it also is flexible so that you can adjust it to uh, point where you'd like to point uh, to get the best optimal signal coverage for your wireless access point placement. Definitely really nice to have that um, ability and the flexible dipole antenna is nice though you do not have to use that external antenna to be able to get a decent signal with this. So if you were just using this with your laptop per se on the run, you probably wouldn't want to have that big antenna sticking off. So you could just leave one of the caps on over the antenna there and use it just like this and still get a pretty decent signal quality. This does support two by two streams. And so that gives you 300 megabits per second on the wireless N and 867 megabits per second max on the 802.11 AC. Uh, the antenna they include is a dipole antenna and it is a high gain antenna as well. One of the reasons why they use USB 3 on this adapter is because um, you have the chance of saturating a USB 2 connection though you definitely can it is backwards compatible you can use it with a USB 2 port you just may not get the highest speeds um, that are rated that it's rated for. As far as accessories, other accessories for it, you also get the uh, drivers and support CD that comes with the AC US, or USB AC56 and you get a manual with it. You also get the VIP warranty card and I already showed you the cradle and the external antenna that it comes with. Next, let's take a look at the PCI Express card here and this is definitely an interesting piece because one thing you don't usually see 
on a wireless adapter is a large heat sink. So ASUS has put this nice aluminum heat sink on this. Um, it looks beautiful. It also keeps all the chips on the PCB nice and cool, so you don't have to worry about overheating the card. It is a PCI X1 card, so it fits into a PCI Express slot, and you also have the chance to put a low profile adapter on it if you wanted to use this in a small form factor case. This does have three connections for antennas on it, so you have three by three streams, and also supports Turbo QAM. So Turbo QAM allows it to boost the speeds even faster with routers that support that standard. So you get up to 600 megabits per second on the 802.11n and 1300 megabits per second or 1.3 gigabits per second on your 5 gigahertz 802.11 band, 11n AC band. So you've also got, because of the 3x3 three three stream antenna, a very nice um, signal coverage, didn't have any problems at 100 feet even with this adapter getting decent connections. You do get a two-year warranty on both of these cards and this one, the PCI Express card, also comes with a base that you can mount your three antennas on. Um, this connects up to the back of your card and you can put the base up on top of your desk. It's also magnetic so you can stick it to the side of a case or a file cabinet or something like that if you wanted to do that. Three antennas or three of the same antennas are included. They just screw on the same way they did onto the adapter. You also have the option to not use the base of course and you can screw them right onto the back of the card if you wanted to do that. Now I found that definitely I like to use in the base because it allowed me to position the antennas up on top of my desk and away from the um, away from the back of the machine there. It also uh, was cool that it was magnetic because I was able to stick it to the side of my file cabinet. So now let's take a closer look at how these cards performed and the benchmarks. I hope you all enjoyed this overview and benchmarks for the ASUS PCE AC68 adapter and the ASUS USB AC56 adapter. As you can see from our benchmark graphs, you get top notch performance out of these, and so the slightly higher price than other adapters on the market is definitely justified because you're getting what you pay for in this sense. So therefore, we are going to be awarding these the High Tech Legion Gold Award. Definitely check out the full review at HighTechLegion.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.